everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio with a sort of odd video today. This is not about creating things. Well, let me just show you. Or tell you. Um, some friends and I, four, decided that we would go through the year of 2021 and not buy any new art supplies other than the ones we need to replenish to finish a project or to replace things that we ran out of that we use on a regular basis. So I have had this stuff sitting on my desk forever and I need to get it off my desk. I'm tired of looking at it. It needs to go in the garbage. And since today is trash day, we're going to um, make a little deposit. All right, so I'm going to go through this with you. First thing is photo paper. Um, I got gifted photo paper from my niece. This would make a lovely thing, but I'm not saving it. I just can't. I cannot save any more stuff. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so I used the last of whatever was in here to print photos off for something, but what it was, I do not remember because, it, like I said, it's been over a year. All right, so it's the first thing. Second thing is... I ran out of uh, red tape. Uh, I think this is an eighth of an inch, quarter inch. No, that's not. Well, maybe it is a quarter inch. Anyway, it's skinny red tape. This will be great to use other places. All right, so here is my lineup. I'm going to lay them down this way so you can see them better. I don't know if they'll roll over. All the paint has dried up in them that was in them. I think these are the only three. I, I evidently use a lot of these colors. This is Apple Barrel Purple Iris. This is uh, Nicole's Craft Studio Paint Turquoise, which I really like. And I love this one. This one's called, uh, this is Nicole's Craft Studio Paint called Mistletoe. I think I bought Nicole's brown at AC Moore while it was still around. So you know how old these are. So these absolutely are dried up and gone. All right. I used up, let's see. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm having to sort through stuff to dig. Okay. Um, I used up my, um, Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay Ink Yellow and Purple. I think I was doing uh, paper dyeing with these. So those are both dry as bone. Probably should save the lids, right? Not going to. And let us go to this. This is Yoohoo Sticks of glue. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I used three of those. I bought those on uh, Amazon. I used the rest. Ooh, this is a mess. Oh, I tied a thing on it. A toe tag. This was used at 11.30 a.m. on the 2nd of March of 221. Cause of death, overuse. <laughs> I tied a toe tag on it. So this is bone dry. I love this glue. Love this glue. All right, that's done. Some of these I tied toe tags to. We call them toe tags because it's like the death of our crafts. Um, this one, that's a rubber band that's died. This is, oh, the score tape. Cause of death. Time of death. 1.22 at 1 a.m. <laughs> so this is two and a half inch score tape. This is the package. There's time of death, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, 1.25.21. Uh, this is Sukwang. This is the half inch wide. Th let me tell you, these things make good things for other stuff. I might have to hang on to those. This one says time of death, <laughs> 3.30 Central Standard Time. I don't know if it's 3.30 a.m. or where it was. This is um, Avery Owl's um, Small Stamp Die Storage Pockets. Five and an eighth by five inches. 50 pack. And I used all 50. Uh, 
date of death is 125-21. See, I've had this stuff a long time. I need to get rid of it. This, <laughs> I don't know what happened. I have no explanation. It just ripped. And I have like three or four of these, so I am going to toss this. This. I run out of this a lot. Walnut stain, because this is um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink Walnut Stain. I use a ton of this. I think I bought a three-pack the last time I, repl I replaced this. I bought the ones where you get three in the package, because I use it so often. I used up the last of the Deco Page Matte Sealer. Uh, Deco Art, I think believe I bought this either at AC Moore or Hobby Lobby and I've had this a couple years and what I would do is take the large container and pour it into the small ones because I didn't have any place to store the large one on the desk because I have shelves and the shelves were not spaced wide enough for this so I would take the smaller container and pour this in there and then I finally use the last of this I think I might have a small container of this but this is done Okay, uh, this was some kind of string thread that I used. Oh, that'll make a good... Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Uh, this. I am really distressed at this for dyeing. I'm really mad it died. But the piece broke off. I contacted them and said it was too old. So uh, I think it's going bye-bye. I really like this thing. And uh, someone replaced mine for me. They were nice enough to replace mine. So I was very happy. All right. So the, let me see. This. This is a ruler from Quill Creations. Again, <laughs> I have no explanation why this is happening. It's happened twice now. Oh, you can't see it. I'm sorry. It ripped. And you use this when you quill paper. You roll them up in the tight spins. And then you put it inside here. And it unwinds, but it doesn't get any larger than the circumference of the circle that you set it in. So that way you know what sizes they all are. I have multiple. Oh, wait. I have another one. It's okay. That's gone. All right. So, since I'm a doodler, this is my collection of things that die during the year. Oh, I put toe tags on some of them. <laughs> I love this color Sharpie. I bought this, I think, in Wisconsin while I was there visiting. Um, it says, time of death unknown, 224 of 21, dried out. Isn't that a crime? What's this one say? Uh, overuse, which means I used all the ink out of it. It's hard to see once it goes down the finger pad, but I used all of it. So I've got one of these, two of these... I have two of these, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven left. I think I ordered a box of either 10 or 12 or 18 of them, so these have lasted a long time, so there's those. My major Sharpie here, I think it dried out. This is a hunk of Sharpie. All right, so let's go with the jelly rolls next. There's the lid for that one. There's this. Oh, here's another one of these guys. I go in that pile. Jelly roll, jelly roll, jelly, jelly, jelly. These are not jellies. Okay. So these are all jelly rolls. I bought different jelly rolls at different times. And as you can see, it is flat empty. I use them. This one stopped working. I pounded it. I set it on fire. I mean, I dipped it in alcohol. I did everything. It's red. And I was so mad. But you can tell I used it a little bit, and then all of a sudden it just stopped working, and I just tried so hard to make it work. This one's totally empty. Totally empty. Stopped working. Stopped working. Totally empty. And here's another red one that just they don't work. So there's jelly rolls that I've gone through. Let me see what they are. Mediums, medium, jelly roll, medium, 08, 08. I like the fatter ones. Medium, 
Oh, eight. I use an eight or a ten if possible. I'm not crazy about the sixes, the smaller ones. I don't really use them that often. I like the fatter ones. The fatter ones I use for outlining and doodling, and the skinny ones I use for like the veins on leaves and very fine little work. So that's all my jelly rolls from 2021 that I used up. All right, so that's that. Then I've used, t I used two of these, which I love these white Signo, Uniball Signo pens. Love them, love them. I have one right here. I have one left out of the box I ordered a while ago. And as you can see, it's getting empty and I can tell I'm getting down to the bottom of it. I see a little bit here, but I'm getting to the bottom where I'm gonna have to order more of these. So those are two of those. Uh, micron pins. What can I say about micron pins? They drive me crazy. Um, and m some of it is my, in the beginning when I started doodling on different kinds of paper, like textured paper, I did not understand how it just ate the daylights out of the nibs. Um, so this is a number one and a number five, and they're both black. And they're dead. Um, here is a watercolor brush from Koi. I evidently like this neon green, dead as a doorknob. And let's see, here's another, oh, here's a Helix. What does it say on the toe tag? Unknown death, 214. Oh, that's Valentine's Day of 2021. Oh, drain dry. <laughs> I must have used it till it was bone dry. I don't like these pens in once, well, no, let me, back up. I like the pen, the nibs on them, but what I hate is you cannot put this on the end because the minute you start doing something or bump it, you lose the cap to the pen. That's why I will never buy Helix again. These are Elegant Riders. I don't know. Well, is this Elegant Rider? No. Okay, this is an Elegant Rider. It quit working. I mean, it's got a little oomph left in the the bottom of it but other than that it was dead this is a uni pen dry boom 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 dead i think i used what size is this one yep oh five was one of my favorite ones size this is is this one of these no this might have come oh here it is it's like this right here. And I don't know, Some I think somebody gifted me a whole set of these and I used this one up and I did a video on how pissed off I was that it ran out of ink while I was still trying to doodle a page and I could never finish the page because it ran out and it came in a set and there was only one of this color. One. All right, Poscas, black Poscas. Uh, I love these things. And I have a ton of Poscas right here you can't see. Um, I have, okay, so I'll show it to you in a second. So these died because I used them up. Same with this one. I was mad because, I mean, I drained that bad boy dry doing a doodle page. One pen. This is uh, from Creative Inspirations. This is a Creative Mark... Artist products. Oh, it's a super black fine line. Dead. I think I used all of it up for doodling. And this is hard as <laughs> hard as a brick. It dried out. So there's that. Okay, so the reason I'm not so heartbroken about other stuff, you know, my Poscas, these are all my black Poscas. <laughs> you think I like these? Okay, so anyway, I wanted to go over all the stuff. Now, uh, I have a book that documented and I wrote down things. Let me go get the book and I'll read it to you. Okay, here's my little working travelers that I leave on the desk. Um, I think you guys saw a video where I did the uh, popsicle stick dangles. I can't remember where I got this idea from, but it's in the video. This is... Somebody, I don't remember, I think somebody gifted me, excuse me, the die for this, and I made this and then covered it in um, tape, I think. Yeah, tape. 
clear packaging tape. So I live out of this. Well, sometimes I do. Okay, so I wrote on here used. All my Fabri-Tac. Oh, that's that red sticky tape, the little skinny one that I showed. Is it eighth of inch? Tombow glue times two. Some of the stuff I accidentally put in the trash, so here's the documentation. Killed Summer Kentucky stamp pad. Oh, I was so sick I did that. I did something to stamp on it, and whatever it was I was stamping on top, I wasn't dry, and I stamped it on the Summer Kentucky, I think it's a memento pad, and it stopped the pad from printing, and I haven't fixed it. Four felt pens, black Posca, Suk Wang, two and a half inch roll, deep purple Posca, stays on black, jet black reinker. Oh, forgot about that one. Red sticky tape, half inch, Ariel, small stamp, storage 50 count, white card stock, white computer paper, baseball card holder, nine sections, Posca pens, pale blue Sharpie, dried out. Um, let's see, this is bought because I ran out of it. Two and a half inch Suk Wang tape. Mod Podge Dem Glue. Is that, I don't know if that means dimensional glue or whatever it is. Uh, two millimeter elastic cord. I bought 10 yards of it and I hate the stuff. Avery L CD holder package. Another package of 50. Baseball card holders. The nine, nine pocket holder. I ran out of those. Refills for a two and a half inch Xyron machine. I got two refills. One apple barrel yellow, scotch dot double sided tape, and a hanging clips. Do I have anything else in here? Nope. Wait. What's this? Nope. Okay, and it says I used um, jelly roll pens, black number eight, and red. I don't know what that was, medium. So I tried to keep track as best I could of what I used up and what I tried to buy to replace stuff. I used paper, but a lot of paper. The thing was is that during that year of 221, last year, I tried to use things in my uh, supplies so that I wouldn't have to spend money to replace anything, and I used up a ton of paper, which I did not photograph, but there's pictures of the projects that I worked on during the year, and a lot of that paper I had already dyed, colored, jelly printed, and they were in a drawer. So instead of making new ones, and using up my paint supplies, I did try to use up that paper. So there is my, I call this my craft morgue, and this is the way I, I saved it all. Just I put it in this plastic container. <laughs> These things are wily characters. And I've had this mess sitting on my desk for over a year now, and I just cannot take all of this mishmash doodads sitting on my desk every day anymore. I just can't take it. I want to clean my desk off, and I can't as long as all this crap is sitting there. So, bye bye. Um, so. I told you this would be a very odd video. But I challenge you guys to um, spend some time using up all the stuff that you own and taking, instead of throwing stuff in the trash, designate a container. I needed a larger container, evidently. Um, designate a container and put all that stuff in that container for a year or six months and see what it is that you use up the most because we buy stuff and then don't use it and it sits there for 10 years you dust it off you look at it and you move on why buy new stuff that you don't ever use so this was a good lesson for me to learn and it was it was fun I will say that um, the four of us got together in November of last year in Austin, Texas, and we did decide that there would be a moratorium over spent on spending because we were at Jerry's in Austin. Now, come on. You can't not spend money there. So um, I did buy some things there, but they were things that I did not own before. They weren't replacing anything. They were brand new, like I bought these from Jerry's, these little fat woodies. I bought uh, three of those 
And then I went somewhere and I bought three more. And I think somebody might have gifted me some of these. I don't have all, I think there's either 12 or 18, uh, 12 or 18, something like that. I don't have all the colors, but that's fine because I will use these. And I have used these. Um, what else did I buy? I bought, what else did I buy while I was at Jerry's? I can't remember. <laughs> Um, hmm, I don't remember. See, that's the problem with doing this, is that you buy so much stuff, you can't keep track of it. And my craft room is proof, if you could look around. Oh, some, oh yeah, I used all the lists. Oh, this is an empty bottle PVA. There you go. I buy the big, huge bottle now and just use these and just refill these instead of buying yet another small bottle. I just, sometimes I wash them out. And then, see, here's one right now that's current. This one died. And I still have a large bottle. This was, I learned my lesson after this one to not buy the small ones anymore. Buy the big, huge bottle and pour it into the small ones. Okay, so that's it. Um, kind of an odd video, but I just thought you might like to see what kind of stuff... I went through for a year and I tried to save as much of it. I don't think too much of my stuff went in the trash. And I did replace things that I had run out of, but I can't remember what they were. <laughs> Sorry. I tried to document, but after six months of doing that, I just gave up. But I, I did not buy new stuff. I did replace only the things that I had to have, like uh, the uh, Tim Holtz walnut stain I did replace those because that's something I used all the time stays on black ink something that a, a black ink pad I mean you can't live without a black ink pad um, things like that now I did after <laughs> after the moratorium was over I did go a little berserk shopping at Jerry's and then um, we went to Jerry's Artorama and in North Carolina and we did I did go a little bit crazy there too I bought paper I bought uh, paint brushes I bought new uh, pens I bought these guys which I dearly love they're so creamy and wonderful this creative inspiration silky water soluble gel crayons these things are fabulous I bought some of those and some whoops does that come off no I bought these at some no-name, oh, that's the Twister, no-name brand store called Dee Dee's in Austin. I did get those there. Okay, so that's it. I hope you weren't too bored, but maybe you should try to do this. It, it might be an eye-opener for you to see what it is that you do use. And I challenge you to do it and do a video a year later and say, oh my, maybe these are what I should concentrate on because this is what I use the most of. And the most things that I used up, were pens. They were pens. And some of them dried out because I have so many, I don't use them. So I'm not replacing certain things. Once I use them up, I'm not replacing them anymore because I just don't use them and it's just stupid. I mean, that's just um, not a good decision. <laughs> it's stupid. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next video. And by the way, I have not forgotten that I promised I would do stuff um, in this art of the fold. I have done the first three folding exercises, which are so simple that, you know, it's kind of crazy. And I will continue to do some of these, but I have some other stuff that I want to do before I do this a little more. And I will do a video on the stuff I folded on this soon i think maybe anyway i got a lot going on all right guys i hope you enjoyed seeing what another crafter uses up in a year i thought it was kind of fun to figure out what it was i used the most of and it is certain pens and i will replace those but others when i run out of them they will not be replaced i have certain ink pens and watercolor pencils and colored pencils and then those nice smooth crayons and watercolor brushes that I really like and some that I don't. So I'm going to use up the ones I don't like first and get rid of them so I don't replace them. I'm not going to buy any more of them. Just like Micron pens, once my Microns dry up or I use them up, I will not be replacing those. I've decided there's some others that I like better. So there it is. 
Okay, so I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.